All right, yo, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be showcasing you guys on how to get the Brando Lab Industries key card. So this will, well not the lab, the garden. So the garden key card actually allows you to farm Rokas cause it's just a little Roka spawn area. And this is probably the best way to get Rokas in game currently. So just watch this video if you guys wanna know how. There's gonna be a few things you guys need to do. You guys need to first uh, complete the Captain Sig quest and the Captain Jones quest. Then it should lead you to the quest called Crusaders. So all you guys want to do is come back to the Speedwagon Mobile a base in Cairo and uh, enter the tent. It should play a pretty cool little cutscene which I'm going to let play out for you guys. Uh, I'll try to explain it while it goes on. So here we have the Crusaders. They're all around the table. Joseph is going to explain the mission to you guys so everyone's here safely. Talks about he has to save his Holly which is related to the anime, you guys know that. Uh, he's talking about Dio. Uh, explaining his backstory of him with Jonathan and all that. He's waking a stand and so as Joe Turo, so as everyone else there. Same with him himself, he's gonna show his stand now. Hermit Purple, there we go. And uh, he's gonna use the spirit camera now. So he's gonna break it in his hand. So I'll show you guys now. And he broke it. So then it should show the image of Dio. But he's a little worried because it's not a proper image of Dio that he wanted to see. So yeah. That's it for the cutscene, and uh, after that, well, once you guys leave the tent, there should be an NPC that spawns right outside the tent, and his name is Captain Nico. And this is the guy who's going to give you the quest for, uh, what's it called, for the Brando Garden Keycard access. So first you're going to need to visit there first, which I did do before that, which is why it was already completed for me. Uh, it's going to give you a waypoint and everything, but I already did it beforehand because I wanted to see if I could get in. And yeah, it's gonna look like this, so he's gonna tell you to go there. Once again, I already did it, so I can't show footage of me going there. Talk to him again, then he's gonna tell you, oh, you did it. Then he gives you a card for the lab, I think. Yep, he gives you a lab card. So, with lab card or garden card, I don't know. Uh, but now you're gonna need to go to the Brando Industries entrance. So once you get there, you're not gonna be able to open the door. Uh, it's like a, a little test quest where it's gonna tell you to open it, but then you can't because you have no key card. And then you just want to go back to, to the spawn area. You can do this easily by resetting. Reset. Go talk to him again. And then he's gonna tell you... Um, he's gonna tell you to go to the garden again. And he's gonna tell you to... Kill this head gardener, I think. Yeah, so... Now you have to kill the little boss NPC. He gave you the lab, the, the garden card. NPC is pretty hard to kill. But it, uh, he, um, he doesn't heal over time, so even if you die, he won't heal. So it took me a while to do this, so I'll show you guys me going there, a little quick uh, time lapse of me killing him. I highly uh, recommend you guys use Death 13, it's one of the best farming stands in this game right now. Um, the, the M1 range is really good because most enemies can't even hit you from your range. I want him to half HP on my first time, but I have to go back there again because NPC is pretty difficult, so yeah. Uh, he's gonna keep on going, keep going. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be the way you get the the, the, the guarding key cards. As you can see, I just ran past the, the Roka fruit areas. Uh, I'm just setting up my skill tree right there. I'm just gonna kill this guy. I think I die on this run. I'm not sure if I kill him this time. Oh, I killed him. I just had to jump cut. And yep, as you can see, I killed him. I respawned. And if I go talk to Nico again, I should keep the lab card permanently, and you get a lot of EXP from this. So yeah, that's how you guys get the, the lab key card. It's pretty simple, uh, it, besides the fact that you have to complete two of the other main quests before that, but yeah. If, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, leave down a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.